Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Welcome back to another episode of Late Night in the Shop. Tonight, we're going to be playing with some CBs. Hopefully. Stick around, let's check it out. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said tonight, we're going to be playing with some CBs, I hope. But before we get into that, I will show you, as always, what time it is. See that? 12.45 a.m. Okay. Now, with that out of the way, I'll show you what I got here. This, uh... Got this old CB. I'm going to put my glasses on. Got this old handheld CB here. Now, I've had these <coughs> before. Um, it's like an emergency CB. Uh, like you could just take and you can take it and throw it in your glove box if you're traveling, and you could, um, you know, if you break down, uh, it's a good thing to have. On the back here has a sticker that says we bring good things to life well that's General Electric uh, something performance CB radio system compact size for convenient storage I'm just trying to make it out what I think that piece is missing sounds pretty good <laughs> complete system ready for easy setup includes 40 channel transceiver Magnet mount antenna, cigarette lighter power adapter. That is this. Now, this was her dad's. Um, we just found it the other day. Yes, yesterday, as a matter of fact, in a box. We don't. I don't know if he was selling it or if this is what he bought it for. But it says CB works ten dollars. So that's kind of cool, but that's you know it's, it's a piece of duct tape but it's been on there forever okay now I'm gonna take these wires off of here well I'm gonna un unravel them first okay I know you can't see that but all right that's the antenna which I will show it to you here in a second uh, like I said I've had a couple of these I've met a lot of people that had them um, like you got uh, local and distant well, local and distant here's your channels uh, they've got it on 20 let's see there's 19 we're not going to be using 19 okay channel 9 is your emergency channel the highway patrol is supposed to monitor channel 9 now a couple times when I had CB's I uh, tried to call in an emergency couldn't get a hold of nobody so but don't get on channel 9 messing around just in case so here it's got one of these deals I was going to do that in here, but for some reason, I have misplaced my uh, three socket uh, to plug these in. So we're going to have to go out the truck. But I'll show you here is the antenna, which is a magnet mount antenna. Okay, and it telescopes, telescopes out, kind of long, probably. Mm, close three feet, maybe two and a half feet. I'll tell you what, let's just measure it, okay? Got my measuring device here. Uh, two feet exactly. No, it ain't. It's two and a half feet exactly. Yep, see? I don't know if you can. Two and a half feet exactly. Okay, so uh, I guess it's not really a review. 
but uh, like I said we're gonna these are supposed to come out of here but put this down so we don't break it it's supposed to pull out but anyway let's go ahead and put that back in there it's supposed to turn this quarter turn it's supposed to pull out but anyway it's fine now that plugs in here to the bottom of this now I am not close enough to a highway or anything to get any kind of uh, reception I would just have to look through the channels and see if someone happened to be talking or you know monitor channel 19 until you know uh, I heard somebody on there I don't even know if this thing works but if it does I've got one here that I know works that was sent to me by Edward I did a video on this an unboxing I do know this one works, so we're going to take these out to the truck, and we're going to plug them in. Wish I could just do it in here, but like I said, I can't find my damn socket thing, or, uh, you know, my power source. So we're going to go out to the truck, and we're going to plug them in. We're going to see if they work. I mean, it should, because they're only going to be about five feet apart, but let's see if it works, and if it does... We'll see how well it does you know like this it was just you know you just push this to talk and this of course is a regular cb with your mic here so and this is i do believe a cobra yeah it is a cobra and uh this is of course a general electric two-way emergency two-way radio so you haven't seen one of these in a long time so I'm kind of anxious to see if it works. If it does, that that's that'll be that'd be kind of cool to have in the truck because uh, I can just throw it up in the glove box. I'm still not sure where I'm gonna put this at in the truck. But so let's head out the truck, plug them in, and see what happens. Okay, guys, here we are at the truck. You can hear the bonging. What I'm gonna do is I have to turn the key on. And then I'll close this door. Got the CBs. I've got them plugged in. I've got the antennas hooked up. Might help. If I put the right key in. Okay, now first, let's get you up here a little closer. I'm going to turn the cover on. I know it works. So it's, okay, there it is. That's on channel one. Okay, cool. Now, let's put this down here on channel one. I think it's two. All right, that's on channel one. Now, let's turn it on. Hey, all right. This is kind of like a squelch, like this here. All right, so I'll turn this up. Turn the squelch down a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to key this one up and see if it will talk to this one through these two antennas. Check. See, I'm very close, so. Check, check, check. Break. Break channel one. Break channel one. How about a 1036? Okay, now I'm going to key this one up and we'll see if we can hear it through here. Loud and clear. So. This thing works great. We may have to do a video cleaning this thing up. So, like I said, distance, that's kind of like a squelch. Um, let's see, let's turn it up to 19. Let's 
turn this one up to 19. <laughs> that little antenna puts out pretty good. Uh, breaker 1-9. Anyone got a radio check? Like I said, I'm so far away from a highway. Unless somebody happens to be going past here, but, you know, it is like 1 o'clock now, so. Breaker 1-9. How about a radio check? Okay, all right. Well, this works excellent. They both do. But this old thing, I mean, God, I, I can't even remember when these came out. I'm looking for a date on it right now. There is a model number. And it actually has a 1-800 phone number right into the plastic. But I'll tell you what, let's go in the garage like it may have gotten hot there let's go into the garage i'll look this model number up and we'll see if we can come up with what kind of what year it is and uh give us some kind of idea because i can't remember when these came out but i do remember i had one pretty much identical to this and i do believe it was a general electric as well so pretty cool all right Let's head in the garage, have a cold beer and a cigarette, and we'll talk about it for a minute. Okay, guys. So, there you have it. It works. <clears throat> it's not a review review because this is not a review video. Um, but we will be doing a full review on this thing. We'll get it. We'll put it in the truck. We'll take it out on the road. We'll talk to some truckers and... Um, We'll kind of see what kind of range it's got. I, I remember talking to my friends on one of these one time because I wanted to try it out. I got it at a yard sale. I think I gave five bucks for it. They normally came in a case, a plastic case, and you had your, you know, your paperwork and all that stuff with it. It's called Help. I remember that now because I looked it up. But I did remember the case. And I was right. This one here is supposed to come apart right down here but I don't want to pull on it I don't want to mess with it so hopefully it can stay like that without me busting the antenna off um, I did find a couple online and we'll show you right now okay here's one on eBay it's very similar to the one we have here um, it's sixteen dollars and nine cents and it's ten ninety nine shipping <laughs> so um, there's that one there was one more <coughs> this one was it's similar but it um, It's just like the last one we looked at. Similar, but it's not the same the same thing. This one I would say is a little newer. See, it's got the alligator clips or the uh for your power source cigarette lighter. Um this one is $14.95 or best offer with $17.25 shipping so it's costing more to ship these things than you know what you're paying for them so they're not you know they're not worth much but I wanted to look them up and check them out um, this one I found on Pinterest now I don't know if it's for sale or not yeah it uh, I guess it's on eBay now this is the one we have right here and I'll kind of show you that okay there's the base for the antenna there's your antenna there see 
um, the antenna see it will like you turn it like a quarter turn and it comes out this is the same exact one we've got here of course it's in better shape because it looks like it's been kept in the box this one apparently wasn't um, but as you can see see if I can do this same exact one now, I don't know what they want for it it's on Pinterest and I got to go to their eBay store if I want to buy it because it doesn't give the price here but so you get an idea there about what they're going for um, also let's get out of this because I'll forget and I'll have all these apps running in the background and shit uh, Man, it's 76 degrees out. Well, with a real feel of 84. And it's 1.21 in the morning. Okay, so enough of that. Now, like I said, we will be doing a full review of this thing because it's cool. Because, now remember, <coughs> sound real good out there, but the antennas were, what, three feet apart, maybe four and the radios were really close together that's why I was getting feedback like when I asked for a radio check and I answered myself you got that feedback that were they were, they were too close um, so what what we can do is like I said we'll take it out in the truck and uh, we'll get on the highway and we'll talk to some truckers um, we'll do a full review on it I think a good review I've, I've got to go to Gainesville the 26th to the doctor I may do it then if we get bored, you never know. We may do it before. But that's that's pretty cool that it still works. I can't remember what year these are, but they are coming up as vintage. Um, but I did see one on eBay that said it was new. And it, it did. It looked new in the box and everything. Uh, not a blemish on it. It had like 12 pictures. I looked through them all. But it did say it was new, so I figured they must still be making them. Um... I think it was uh, it was thirty bucks. I don't know what the shipping was. It may have been free, but um, yeah, it was thirty bucks new. Also, once I get some of these projects caught up, like the garage cleaned out and some other things I've got going on, we may do a late night in the shop with the home base. Uh, I got to get the antenna. I do have an antenna. You, pretty much use any antenna you want on them it's just not going to get out real far but her dad had a base station and it was bad ass I mean he talked to people over overseas I mean this thing is awesome we do have that so that would be cool to set up here kind of you know check it out make sure it's still working good but they used to be in a CB club and stuff like that back when CBs were hot um, like I said, I can't remember. I, I used to talk to my friends, and, and you know, I got a couple mile range on this on one of these before. Um, I was in Ohio, there was hills and stuff. But remember, this was supposed to be for emergency, so if you're going down a road, you break down. If you're on a highway, um, you know, you wait 15 minutes to half an hour, there's going to be a semi come past you, you know. Hopefully highway patrol if you're broke down or stuck in a ditch or you know you're in a blizzard or whatever the case may be. Hopefully you guys don't have to experience that. But just in a case of an emergency, um, you know, truckers going to come past. Now the question is, you know, 99% of the truckers they have CBs, but not a lot of them use them anymore because you know, well, they've got their cell phones and they've got, you know, they're listening to their, their music, they got their buds in and and so, you know, will they hear you? Do they have their CB on? Because I know, I, I got a friend of mine, he never, he's been a truck driver for 20 years now. Maybe 25 years, but, and he told me he, he never uses radio. Very seldom would he get on his radio. And he said 80% of the time he don't even have it on. Um, but... But you never know. Like I said, usually you're going to have your cell phone. What if your cell phone's dead? I mean, 
but just for a novelty, it's cool as hell. You know, you never know. Um, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be taking some long trips, and and you can bet your ass. Uh, you know, we're working on for next year, like we had mentioned. You can bet your ass I'm gonna have both these CBs hooked up in the truck or whatever we're taking. Hopefully, we'll have a newer truck by then. But any any case, I'm gonna have these two CBs with me and. Because you never know. And if anything, you know, we talk to somebody, maybe even a local as you're, as you're going through, which I used to do a lot. But like I said, uh, you know, like my senior year back in 87, we, you know, we all had CBs in our trucks, um, in our cars, whatever. We always had a magnet mount. Uh, and in fact, I had a CB in my, uh, in my Suburban, my 89 Suburban. I had the dual antennas. Uh, they weren't magnet mount. But I had them mounted up on my luggage rack, and uh, I used it quite a bit. Um, there were still people I could talk to around. Now uh, that that uh, my CB in my truck was a 40 channel Cobra. It was an older one. Now it was like the truckers use. I you know I talked to people 10, 12 miles away with no problems on that. But the dual antennas helped, and uh, they were magnified. You know they uh, they had the boosters on them, but. <clears throat> You know, just for one of these, it's I just <coughs> excuse me. I just think it's cool as hell. You know, to have one of these and it's plugged it in, we turn it on and it worked fine. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, uh, be sure to check out my other videos. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for staying up with me until uh, what time is it now? It should be about 1 30. 1 27. Just turned to 1 27. All right. See. So. That'll do it. We'll wrap it up for this episode of Late Night in the Shop. Um, season 1, Episode 3. Uh, stay tuned for more. Like I said, I'm going to try to do it every Friday night. If I can't do it on Friday night, I'll try to do it on a Saturday. I know it's not going to be possible for me to do it every weekend, but I'll try my damnedest. And if I can't do it, you know, on that weekend... If I know I'm not going to be able to do it on a Friday, I'll try to do it, you know, through the week or something. But I'll try to get these up for you. But I'll try to keep it about every Friday. So if you guys like these kind of videos, it'll be they'll just be quick ones like this. Just, um, you know, tinkering around, little projects, trying stuff out. Like I said, stay tuned for a full review on this thing. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, thanks again for staying up late with Shea Bear. And, uh... Hope y'all are enjoying your weekend, and y'all be safe out there, okay? And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one.